Welcome to the Book Party Podcast. Join us as we journey into the world of books with Michael T. Prepare to be captivated by engaging interviews, insightful discussions, and fascinating stories. You'll discover new adventures and gain insight into the creative process of the authors themselves as they share their struggles and accomplishments. Now let's hear from Michael T. I would ask that you go to bookpartypodcast.com. That's bookpartypodcast.com. And hit that subscribe tab on top. Then go down to the icon of your choice where you can find us on one of your favorite platforms. Download it and you can follow us there. Don't forget to sign up for one of our newsletters to get the latest information on our upcoming shows. This morning, I want to introduce to you Mantri Pragada Markandiyelu. Mr. Mantri Pragada is a retired public sector enterprise officer from Hyderabad, India. He is the deputy chief, deputy in chief of www.prakaska. Nestamba, a Serbia Belgrade magazine. He's the editor committee member of the Panache magazine from Bhopal. He has worked in few newspapers, English, in editorial department. He's also the trainer in motivational management programs. He has published 75 plus books with ISBN numbers stories, novels, poems, articles, and short stories, uh, English and Telugu. His stories are useful for making movies, TV series, and web series. He has written 750 plus poems in English, 130 poems in Telugu. He has received numerous honors and awards, both national and international. Montre, why don't you just take it from here, fill in some of these blanks, blanks, and tell our listeners a little bit about yourself. Thank you. Nice of you speaking to you. I am Mantrik Pragada Markandeyu from Hyderabad, India. I am a commerce graduate from Usmania University, Hyderabad, and I joined the central government during 1969 as a secretary to the senior director and after working for four years i became quasi permanent and shifted over to electronics corporation of india limited a public sector undertaking at hyderabad india for a better position i worked there for 20 years as private secretary that is an officer cadre i opted for voluntary retirement during the year 1993, that is 30 years over. And I went to Nairobi, Kenya, East Africa, and returned back for, after spending for a few months in search, of, in search of a very good job. But due to elections at Africa, I was not given extension for my visa. I returned back to India, my place, and I joined engineering colleges and management degree colleges as an administrative officer and manager. And then after serving in engineering colleges for over six years, I was concentrating on my literary work, which I was having very fond of writing right from my childhood. And even my mother also very good in literature and written 1250 devotional songs on Shirdi Sai Baba. Then I started writing my own literary works and started writing novels, short stories, poems, special quotations, etc., etc., and I have published 75 books with ISBN numbers 
and all books are listed in the book distributors, listed book distributors. I worked very hard during the two years COVID time. All my stories, novels, etc. are most useful for uh, movies purposes, web series purposes, and for short films and also for television serials purposes. Both are in English language and also in Telugu language with dialogues also readily available. And I am still continue to write my literary work. And I have contributed many, many articles in national and international websites and journals and e-magazines, digital magazines, etc. I received a number of honors from national and international level that I will be able to read out. 2021 Golden Eagle World Award winner for literary excellence. Hispan World Writers Union, UHE Peru. Gujarat Sahitya Academy and Motivational Ships Excellence Honor on the occasion of 75th India's Independence Day. Honored with a Royal Commemorative Peace and Humanity Award by the Royal Kutai Mulavarman Peace International Institute, Philippines. Royal Success International Book of Records 2019 Honor, Hyderabad, India. Institute of Scholars Research Excellence Award 2020, Bangalore, India. Gujarat Sahitya Academy and Motivational Strips Honor, again second time I received from Gujarat, India. Honorary Doctorate in Literature from ITMUT from Brazil, that is 2019 year I received it. Literary Brigadier Honor from 2018 year from Story Mirror, Mumbai, India. Spotlight Superstar Honor 2018 from Story Mirror, Mumbai, India. Golden Ambassador General for Development and Peace at World People's Forum, TWPF, Oblique BTYA, Bangladesh. State of Birland at Birtha will recognize the poet, myself. Dr. Sarve Palli Radhakrishnan Ratan Award 2021, honor also I received. Mahatma Gandhi Humanity Award 2021, also I received. 30 global certificates I have received. All the global certificates I have received, what I received, already I have emailed to you earlier. This is my brief bio and still I am uh, continue to work toward the literature and literary works and I am still writing some devotional stories. Wow. Well, that's a lot. Okay. So are you a self-publishing author or do you use an agency for publishing? I'm a self-publishing author. I never used any agencies. I have published through some of the publishers, retail publishers, that is in USA, and branches existing at New Delhi, and also another branch existing at Mumbai. This retail.com is from America. This is so under obviously. Profit. Obviously, you write the book, right? Do you hire somebody to do the cover of the book? No, no. Myself, I will, I will design my own cover. I myself write with handwriting. I myself type. I myself design as per the book requirement size, whether it may be 5.5 inch or 8.5 inch or 16 to 9 inch or 9 to 11.5 inch, whatever it is the size depending upon the number of pages. Oh, okay. Why don't you tell us, take us to the point in your writing, and you've got a lot of books. <laughs> I mean, a lot. But take us to a point in time when your worst author moment. 
What was your worst author moment? Uh, in the beginning of my writing, I was not concentrating in proofreading that much and some mistakes uh, appeared and somebody commented through oh, uh, publishers, some publishers, they have rejected some three times, four times, five times my book publishing uh, rejected due to um, some mistakes, grammatical mistakes. I was not aware that simply I, I was not uh, fully aware and educated to that extent. So uh, I felt very bad and I was uh, not uh, at one point of time, I was not interest, interested to continue writing. Then uh, some of my relatives and some of my friends told me to continue writing, no problem. Mistakes will occur for everybody and in a slow process, everything will get set right because proofreading is the most important thing and proper care is to be taken while writing the novels or whatever the articles it may be. And even um, three, four times and 10 times we have to check because most of the global people will be, uh, top level people will be reading your books. So from then onwards, I was taking proper care while writing and avoiding grammatical mistakes and continuity of the sentences and meaning and characters properly i was designing i was um, uh, taking uh, getting up uh, to total a to z after planning what to write and every everything a to z so i was folded by many people also in the beginning uh, that uh, we are not in a position to write properly like that many publishers rejected my uh, uh, books publication earlier five years back four to five years back. Since then, I started uh, proofreading and putting the matter content properly and then again submitted. And I was searching actually for traditional publishers or publishers, those who come for under uh, profit sharing basis, some percentage sharing basis, because I was not in a position to pay any publishing charges. So they will be taking some commissions, publishers will be taking some commissions and uh, uh, publishing costs they will direct and some percentage of commission uh, payment of payment of royalty will be given to me. That is the, under such agreement, I have published all 75 books with ISBN from www.ritact.com W-R-I-T at A-T dot com. Oh, okay. That is USA Publishers. Right. Okay. Take us to a point in time, and it could be doing anything, uh, not even doing your writing, but just doing anything, where you had an incredible moment that was the light bulb went off in your head, the aha moment, the, the incredible epiphany. And you had to go get a pen and paper or something and write it down. Actually, while writing my literary work stories or articles and everything, there was no surprise for me. I was not astonished or got any aghast. No surprise. Simply because I'm interested in literary writings, so I started continuously writing, writing, writing. So there was no surprise from anybody because uh, in a slow process, I was developing my uh, writing cap capacity, capabilities. So in a slow process, after reading so many newspapers, after reading uh, televisions, after uh, viewing YouTubes and various articles reading and various uh, few of the novels I read, how to write, how to publish, how to uh, make uh, create characters. So there was no surprise. Oh, oh, there was no surprise. Only uh, I was scolded by some top uh, writers uh, because of uh, bad presentation. That was four to five years back. So that was the time. So the, there was no sur sudden surprise anywhere uh, in my literary verse because actually I'm confined and 
I was showing much interest uh, in writing uh, various articles or short stories or poems uh, and uh, novels or what creative type. So uh, there was nothing aha ho in my life because um, I faced a lot of, I confronted a uh, lot of problems and there was nothing surprise to me in the, or nobody praised me. Well, you've written 75 plus books, so yeah. some of that might be hard to remember back when you started uh, to now, because that's that's a lot of books. Um, what is, this is today, what is the one thing you're the most fired up about, excited about now? The book, whatever the book, uh, whatever the book is exciting for the present you want. That now, what are you most excited about book. today? Excited today is uh, now uh, um, www.kdp.com has come uh, earlier from the right from the beginning, kindle.com. Nowadays, every dish, book distributor is having uh, uh, like uh, Kindle publishers. Okay. Every book. book uh, every uh, book distributor is uh, running uh, their own uh, books sales like kdp.com, kindle.com. Earlier okay. it was not there. Only Kindle was there, Monopoly. Now most of the publishers are coming uh, and uh, prepared to publish all books, novels, poems, stories, short stories on a profit sharing basis mostly. Mostly. Earlier there are big fives who publish, uh, whoever uh, gets published through big five publishers, book publishers, they are very great. Nowadays, every every nook and uh, uh, every gully, every lane has got one book publishing agency. Okay. <clears throat> Again, this is Michael T. Please go to bookpartypodcast.com. That's bookpartypodcast.com. Hit that subscribe tab. Go down and choose one of your favorite platforms there. You can follow us. And if you enjoy our show, don't hesitate to leave a review. And don't forget to sign up for our newsletter to get the latest information on our upcoming shows. Okay, Bontree, we're in the lightning round now. Okay, thank you. And, <clears throat> and we got four pointed questions for four quick pointed answers. Before you started writing your first book, your very first book, what was holding you back from becoming an author? Actually, Chetan Bhagat, Chetan Bhagat was a good writer and a novelist, and I read his books, and I he was the inspiring to me to write a book because. Somebody told me Chetan Bhagat, Bhagat was a very book writer, very good writer, and you can't uh, become to that extent. Then I challenged, I will write slowly. That This was some 10 years back. So then I started starting, started writing uh, novels, poems, everything, in a slow process, slow process, slow process. I build up and I will publish 75 books. And I too got good name in the global circles as Mantri Paragada Markandeilu, and which you can also type my name in Google search, full name, Google search, and YouTube also you can search with my full name, Mantri Paragada Markandeilu. You will get so many, so many information pertaining to my books. So I'm inspired by, inspired with the words of Mr. Shetan Bhaga, who was a very good writer. So that made okay. me well, tell us what your best advice you have received as a writer. What was the best advice you've ever received? My best, this uh, global authors uh, have received uh, uh, this uh, doctorate in ITMUT, Brazil I received, and uh, uh, Berlin uh, poet myself. I'm also, because of my good work with the uh, Birlan government, Birlan means a new 55th nation in the African continent 
and yet to get United Nations approval for a new state, the state of Birland. The uh, Birland uh, government, I'm a uh, representative for Birland government, Hyderabad. One can type www.birland.got.com. Okay. Share with our listeners one of your personal habits, just one, that contributes to your success. I am very disciplined. I concentrate on writing. I don't have bad habits of smoking or drinking or playing gambling. I am confined to my house. I fully concentrate on my literary work. I make a draft, make proofreading, type myself, take consultations from my near and dear and from known people, known authors. And I uh, go on writing, 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 writing. That is a good habit so that if not today or if not next month, after one year or two years, a good name will come. I will be successful. And the literature, literary works, what I do now will reflect to my children and grandchildren's when they grow up, my grandfather, great grandfather has written so many books. That is. Okay. Share one internet resource that you can share with our listeners. One internet resource that you use for your writing. I, I go through certain websites and I read Google also. And I read newspapers and I get some new good topics based on that. I will try to create some type of short story initially. Then I will extend that story to a full-fledged novel, depending upon the uh, characters, what I create. Okay. <clears throat> We'll end up with you sharing a parting piece of guidance. The best way people can contact you, the best we, way that you can uh, contact, you know, get a hold of your books. And, you know, I, when we publish your broadcast, we will put the links and stuff there anyway. So... <laughs> You know, we'll put all those links in there that people can find your books and stuff. So why don't you spend this time to actually tell us about your books? One story I will tell you, sir, that is True Hero. That is True Hero, which I have published. There are two, part one and part two in this. This is this story is about uh, the evil king and um, Vishal and the evil king. This story takes place in a planet, and the evil king will be destroyed by a young Vishal, who was a warrior, and against that evil king. Then he will take the support and guidance of uh, sun god and queen heavens and he will destroy the evil kingdom and he will also die along with the evil king and uh, uh, he will that vishal gets a blessing from the sun god and other uh, gods heavens queens heavens gods and he will take a birth on the earth as a doctor now after taking the birth on the earth uh, the, the, now he becomes a doctor and based on the scientific formula created by a scientist, a dead man will become alive for half an hour or one hour or so, so that uh, uh, the formula will get successful. So then the doctor implements that with the support of, uh, with the guidance of the scientist, and he gets so many dead bodies uh, seeking for their uh, re rebirth. So the, the many of the uh, dead bodies, uh, their souls, and they become devils, ghosts, and trouble 
doctor and the scientist. So to avoid troubles and harassment and embarrassment from the ghosts, the doctor goes to Varanasi and come, comes back. In the absence of the doctor, all ghosts enjoy clubs, pubs, go to horse racing, go to garment shops and get so much of garments, money in gunny bags and keep them in the doctor's house. And later on, the ghosts think that our staying on the earth as ghosts is not proper. When we go to soul's world, we get reincarnation. So finally, those ghosts will go to uh, soul's world and get reincarnation as per their turn. So this is a very good story. First part is a, uh, evil Vishal and the Evil King. And that is like a Bahubali movie type, Hollywood type story. That is totally uh, 400 pages. It is there. Story one and story two. This can be made as a Hollywood movie if any good producer comes forward, financier comes forward to make a movie, Hollywood style. I am prepared to give this story. There are several other stories are also there available, but those stories are available according to the Indian environment. Only the true hero, which consists consists of two stories. They are useful for making Hollywood type movie. Okay, sir. And Fair poems sure. also have number of poems also I have written. If you want, I will read one. If you want, I will read one poem. Hello. Hello. Go Hello. ahead. Yeah, go I ahead. I read one poem. Conflict world. <clears throat> what I thought this world today is not that world I expected. Reigns of rulers, years rolled, rules have gone, it's dictator's era. Confrontations and conflicts still in woe. There is no day without a conflict. Combats have become order of the day. Intra-country combats are the regular features. No day left for inter-party conflicts. Whole world watches ongoing combats. Who support whom? For support and sanctions. World combats, sure, a day is not far. War-like conflict looks to be common. People suffer due to power sake rule. Value to life, no country thinks. War may erupt, can lead to casualties. People gave power to rulers to rule. People gave power to keep the en uh, environment good. People's ambition enact the rule. People's aspirations hope to be good. Misunderstandings and precipitations are often seen. Who is not great as said and done? All countries are great as countrymen feel so. Dangers are seen through terrorism strikes. People are hit and killed through wars of terrorism. Countless casualties in war hit zones. Epics and diseases hit the people for long. Properties get damaged and never recovered in life. Lives and property hit through chemical bombings. Normal life dislocates throughout the world. Last economy never regains for decades. Hopeless conditions people have to confront. Governments collapse over the years. People's sufferances lead to epidemic diseases. Wise man's decisions lead to avoidance of conflicts. Ceasefire agreements can stop combats for a brief. Judgments and decisions are good for peace. Who blames who? 
is the point of thought. Policies and governance are the duty of government. Efficiency of rulers prove the handling of situation. This is one of the poems sir, written and published. Okay. All right, that finish that. Uh, you want another poem to be read out? <clears throat> no, that's long enough. <clears throat> okay, Montre. We thank you so much for being here with us today and opening up to us, and I'm sure our listeners appreciate this too. Again, this is Michael T. Please go to bookpartypodcast.com. That's bookpartypodcast.com. And hit that subscribe tab. Go down and choose your favorite platform where you can download and follow us. And if you enjoy our show, please don't hesitate to leave a review. Don't forget to sign up for our newsletter to get the latest information on our upcoming shows. We would like to give a shout out to the iHeart Radio's power rhythmic hits book party podcast is owned and powered by mtm legacy publishing llc this is michael t signing off you must not miss our next episode as we delve into a world of inspiration entertainment and thought-provoking insights join michael t on the next book party podcast and experience a new adventure, a new story, and a complete immersion into the world of Pages Unveiled, Chronicles of the Writing Journey.